In the earliest moments after the Big Bang, the universe should have been a perfect balance of matter and antimatter. According to the laws of physics as we know them, every particle has an antiparticle, identical in mass but opposite in charge. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other in a flash of pure energy. So logically, after the Big Bang, everything should have canceled out, leaving behind a cold, empty sea of radiation. And yet, here we are. Planets, stars, galaxies, and life, all made of matter. But where did all the antimatter go? This is called the symmetry problem, and it strikes at the very heart of why we exist at all. For reasons still unknown somehow, in the chaotic first microseconds of the universe, matter gained a tiny edge, maybe as little as one part in a billion. That small imbalance was enough for some matter to survive after the Great Annihilation, forming the building blocks of everything we see today. One of the leading clues comes from a phenomenon called CP violation. In particle physics, CP stands for charge conjugation and parity symmetry, meaning that the laws of physics should stay the same if you swap particles for antiparticles and flip the universe like a mirror. But experiments with certain subatomic particles like kaons and b-mesons have revealed tiny asymmetries in their behavior, favoring matter ever so slightly over antimatter. It's as if the universe has a hidden preference, a subtle tilt that tips the balance. Scientists have been trying to recreate and measure these effects in particle accelerators, smashing particles together at unimaginable speeds to probe the tiniest differences. But so far, the observed CP violations are too small to account for the overwhelming dominance of matter. Something else, perhaps something beyond the standard model of particle physics, must be at work. This unsolved mystery is more than a physics puzzle. It's a profound question about our own existence. Why does anything exist at all? Why wasn't the universe wiped clean in a blaze of annihilation? Every atom in your body, every star in the sky, is a silent witness to that ancient cosmic asymmetry. Until we solve it, we can only marvel that in the great cosmic coin toss, matter somehow won, and we are here to ask why.